So hello everyone, another found new car here. And today it's story time and we tell a story to teach a lesson. So it's a, it's an illustration which you can have benefit for of the rest of your life, especially as an entrepreneur. So first, so first off, I will start this story very uh, shortly. So there are two brothers and they are in a family, and a husband and wife, they got married of course, so therefore they are husband and wife and they have two kids, two brothers. And uh, both uh, the husband and wife are not that extremely intelligent or are successful but they work hard and they are able to maintain a certain life standard that is sufficient but not abundant. So the brothers grow up and one brother is very positive in life and the other one is a little bit more skeptic, so to say. The more skeptic, bro skeptic brother wants uh, to have toys, the same toys as his uh, peers. So the other kids on school and all those kids on school, all his friends get a specific toy. For example, a transformer or a, a, a gaming console. And he wants that toy, so he goes to his parents, hey, I want this toy, get it for me. And then the parents sit down with him and they tell him, okay, we, we have a, a lifestyle, so we supply you everything that you need, but we don't have the uh, access that we can also give you that toy. So the boy says he understands, but in his heart he is uh, furious because he thought, what did I do wrong that all those other uh, children are able to get the toy but I can't and later on uh, his father makes a little bit of progression and then they say to him okay we have a little bit of extra now we can get you that toy it's two or three years later and he gets the toy so he's uh, the same as all the others he matures he matures and after a while he, he uh, gets driving life lessons and uh, he gets his driving license and a lot of his peers get the car from, from their parents, so okay, as a gift. And then he doesn't get the car as a gift because his parents say, okay, we cannot do this. We have a second car, which we don't use that much. You can use it together with your brother. And he does so. And after a while, his mother also makes a little bit progress in the, on her work and they are able to get him his own car as well. But it takes, again, a few years. And that kid now uh, went to school, he's an adult, and he's now done with it and he starts his working life. So he works really, really hard to be able to get whatever he wants. And he sees a lot of progress in his, uh, yeah, in his uh, environment. He, he, he will focus specifically on getting what he wants. So he, got, he gets quite far, but then he sees there is a chief financial officer or another C-level um, or vice president of sales or whatever, who has it a lot better. Eh? More money, more uh, expensive cars, a lot of attraction from a specific woman because they like uh, to have that lavish uh, lifestyle. And he works really, really hard to get at that level. I and mean, even beyond that, he gets that. So he gets a lot of attention of females he also has a uh, has a life uh, filled with nice things such as cars houses etc but then the company has has been sold and he gets laid off and he sees that the, the founder and the, the the owners of the company make the money but he is left out so then he thinks okay the next level should be that i start my own company and he works really, really hard to do so. And he gets all the friends around him to be also involved. Those that he has learned over the time and have the same focus that he has. And he founds a company together with his peers. And after five years of very hard work, he's able to sell it and makes, makes millions. And then he has time again for his family. So he has a interaction with his family and also with he sees his brother again which he only sees once a year normally but now he has a little bit more time because he's done and he tells his uh, brother how are you doing financially and he was say okay i make some uh, things that i like some art or other things 
yeah, make some sculptures or do some home decoration or is it just working uh, as a uh, carpenter or what have you but I, uh, I I like it every day what I'm doing and uh, I just am able to to combine we don't have a lavish lifestyle like you have but we have enough and he says oh, do you need some money he said no we have enough and then his woman comes in his wife and uh, their children he has two children and they are also happy and that guy that stopped said okay I've, I've fallen into a gap because my working life is now over what should I do I'm not able to keep a long-term relationship because all the women are only in it for the money I have no friends I have no nothing that really makes me happy and the lesson to be learned here is that um, money or material things do not equate happiness they don't and that uh, other brother that had a positive lifestyle uh, and was not that uh, rich or famous or whatever but he was happy with his life and he felt value to things that really did matter in the long run because as you heard from the story one brother had it all and a lot of uh, person don't reach that top of the bill in a material sense but he did and still he was not happy it's a 